Are you self-centered or cross-centered? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. The following are stories written by Hack about rich people who gave their fortunes away. John Pedley lived the life of a swinging millionaire until an alcohol-fueled car accident in 2002 left him comatose and on the verge of death. Miraculously, he survived and soon experienced a profound change of heart. The UK millionaire, who indulged in alcohol, womanizing, and other vices, later found God and was inspired by the charity work of his friend in Uganda. He decided to emulate his friend and literally gave it all away in 2020 as he sold his $1.5 million farmhouse and businesses. Pedley then used the proceeds to move to a mud hut in Uganda and start a charity for local orphans. The charity was not only for local children but also catered to British children with a troubled past who were also sent there to help the locals and ultimately help themselves. For Pedley, it was a relieving release from his once immoral lifestyle. He remarked, and I quote, I've never been more sure about anything in my life, unquote, when asked if he wanted to go through it. In another story, Yevgeny Poshanko had a good life going for him back in the 1990s. The Soviet Union had just broken up and people were free to pursue their dreams. For Poshenko, that freedom enabled him to construct a clothing factory in his hometown of Vladivostok. Soon, business was booming and he had 50 factory workers at one point. However, Poshenko felt empty. Until then, he had not practiced his faith as an Orthodox Christian which was suppressed for so long by the authorities. It wouldn't be long before he met his friends and handed them the keys to his factory. His shocked friends found out the reason from his parents the next day. He wanted to be a monk and do a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. For three years, Poshenko walked 15,000 kilometers through several countries until he finally reached his destination. He endured many trials during his journey, from battling extreme weather to fending off suspicious authorities, but remarked that his faith kept him going. After the pilgrimage, he renamed himself as an Asios and retired to Mount Athos in Greece where he resided at a monastery since. Today, many churchgoers think that Christianity is a formula for fulfillment and success in this life. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Matthew chapter 16 verse 24 He says that following him 
is not about self-fulfillment but self-denial. It is not about experiencing your best life now but about losing your best life now. Following Jesus is not self-centered but it is cross-centered. If anyone wishes to follow Him, one must be willing to die for oneself daily. But there is great value in doing so, for Jesus also said, For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew chapter 16 verse 25 it is promises like this that inspired saints, martyrs, and countless others to give their lives for the cause of Jesus. Just like the two persons in our opening story. He also promised, For the Son of Man will come with His angels in His Father's glory, and then He will repay everyone according to His conduct. Matthew 16, verse 27 Life is short, and we only live once. Let us make it count for Jesus and invest in eternal life. Let us pray and recite the prayer of St. Ignatius de Leona. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and all my will, all that I have and possess. You have given them to me. To you, O Lord, I restore them. All things are yours. Dispose of them according to your will. Give me your love and your grace, for this is enough for me. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.